In this video, I'd like to introduce you to the Zenith browser. The Zenith browser is a quick way for you to get to the information you need and keep it in a logical browser type window. Okay, so right now I have a browser window open, but what I'm going to do is actually show you how to open up a browser window so you can get started. Now, if you have Zenith open, what you'd want to do is you'd come down to the X down at the bottom for Zenith and right click on it and go to new browser. Now, if you don't have Metastock Zenith open, you'll need to go and open it by going to the search here and typing in Zenith and opening it from there to start and then coming back and right clicking and going to new browser. So if I open up a new browser, this is what's going to come up for you. Now it may look slightly different for you. Uh, it may be customized a little bit differently and that's okay. What we're gonna do is start by showing you some of the information that's available inside the browser. Now here, you're going to have some shortcuts that are available to you. And these again may look different for you than they do for me because it's customized just a little bit. So now if I click on markets, you can see it'll take me to a number of different options here to get an overview of information I'd be looking for. So if I wanted information on equities and I click on this, it will give me an equities overview where I can see kind of a top overview of what's happening on global markets. Okay, I may go to company and look for overview. And this will take me to an overview of a default company. And you can change this to whatever you want. So if I just searched here for IBM, it would take me to IBM and then I would get an overview of IBM. So this search is available for you to search and change to whatever you want. So each of these will have its own unique workflow for identifying different bits of information. So here, news, I can go to Reuters top news and get that information, go to charting, get a chart, portfolio manager, where I can look at a, a monitor or list. And again, your list up here may be slightly different than what I have in front of me here. Okay. Now within these, you'll, each of these will have different categories that you can click and drill into. So you can quit, get to a lot of different information through the browser. Now, let's say you want to kind of customize your own screen here. Well, there's some options for that as well. So up at the top, I have just this generic top news tab because I've been clicking through. And if I go back to home, it'll take me back to a kind of a default view that I have built in here. Now, if you wanted to create your own view like this, what you can do is come up here to the plus, and this will give you the option to be able to create your own. Okay, so I can now start by developing my own system here. I can go to, let's just type in a symbol. I can generate a Best Buy option here, and then I can um, save this, or I can bookmark it and add it and be able to come back to it really quickly. Now, if I have this and I want to add a panel to this, so for example, if I click the plus button here, and let's say I wanted a news monitor here. Well, I could put in a news monitor and I'd be able to have the news stream in for Best Buy as it comes in. Okay, so you can build these custom views and kind of get into the information that you want very quickly that way. Okay, and I could resize this if I want to. So the, the browser in effect is a very quick, easy way for you to just navigate around information and find the information that you want by just going in and searching for it. And you can have as many different tabs as you want to and go through and build your own kind of things and, and add them and default them to, to stay up. Okay. Let's just add Best Buy, my Best Buy view here to my bookmarks. I'll just click bookmarks and I'll just call this Best Buy. Click OK. And now I have a Best Buy favorite here, much like a browser. So a lot of this, as you, as you think about it, is much like a browser. I can click on my Metastock Zenith default that I have here, and it'll take me to that. Or I could click on my, my tag here for Best Buy, and it'll take me right over to that. So that's all now saved in here when I go through. Okay, so that's a quick overview of the browser and how to get to the browser and a little bit of what the browser does. Keep watching other videos on how to do some of the other functions inside the browser to learn even more. Thanks for watching and successful trading.